Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams tutorial series, you will learn how to create 3D timeline diagram in PowerPoint. The diagram you will learn to create today looks like this. Isn't this beautiful? Though it looks complex, the diagram is quite simple to create. Let us see how to create this stunning 3D timeline diagram from scratch by going to a new slide. First, I am going to draw an arrow for which I am going to use the block arrows tool here and the one that I am going to use is called as right arrow. So here I am, I have got the right arrow drawn. The next thing is to add a few milestones along the path. I am going to use just three of them so we don't spend too much time on this tutorial. I am going to use this one called as rounded rectangle under the rectangles option. I click on it and I draw the rounded rectangle here. I am going to move this yellow handle towards the center so that the shape looks like a beam. Now I have it here like this one. Maybe I can even have it slightly bigger if need be. And I am going to duplicate this shape by pressing Ctrl D twice. So I have two copies available with me. I can have them here like this. Maybe I can have the arrow slightly longer so that you can clearly see the distance between these. Now I am selecting all these three shapes and the arrow and I want to align them properly. So align in arrange, align, align center, sorry, control Z, arrange, align, align middle so that all these are aligned properly. Now these three are to be distributed equally. So go to align and go to the option called as distribute horizontally so that there is equal spacing between this. Now that we have got these done, the next step is to give them the right color. I am going to choose a darker gray color for the arrow and I am going to remove the outline. For these, I am going to use some quick styles. The quick style I am going to use for this is moderate effect aqua accent 5. Let me use a blue color for this and a green color for this one. These are uh, fairly good harmonious colors. Now that we have got this, maybe we can actually have the years written. So if this is 2014, this could be 2013 and this is 2012. So I use 2012 here. The default Calibri is not bold enough to show very clearly. So that is the reason why we are going to change the font to Arial Black instead of Calibri. And I'm going to increase the font size to 28. And I'm going to do the same here, 2013, 2014. I'm gonna select both of them, go to 28 and have them as Arial Black. Yeah, now this looks good. Now I am going to select all of them and press Ctrl G to group. Now that we have the group ready, it is time to apply 3D rotation. So I am going to right click on it, go to format shape and go to effects option. And the effect that I am going to use is 3D rotation effect. And the preset I am going to use is under perspective and the preset is called as Perspective Contrasting Right and I click on it. So as you can see, as soon as I click, you have a very beautiful 3D perspective given to these uh, shapes, to this group. The next thing is we want to have them all, uh, we, we need to give them some depth. So let me go to 3D format and I'm going to increase the depth to say 50. If you think this is too thick, you can always have them as uh, say 35 or so. For, for now, I'm going to choose 50. Now, I want to have these shapes 
to have a nice bevel effect so i am going to select these items or these objects while i hold the control button and i'm going to apply top bevel and the bevel effect i'm going to apply is called a circle as soon as i do that you can see that these shapes look more interesting now there are two things here one is the arrow here seems too thick and i want it thinner so i am going to select only the arrow as you can see here the way it is selected and i am going to have the depth not 50 but 25 so it is much thinner and as you can see here it is aligned with the top surface and i want to have some depth so that the arrow goes somewhere in the middle and the way i am going to do this is to go to 3d rotation option and this distance from ground option is what we are going to play with so that we can push the arrow slightly back so that it is in the middle rather than at the edge so i am going to use negative distance from ground and as i keep adding the distance you can see how this stem of the arrow goes to the middle from the top edge so there we are we have got this uh, timeline done now the final touch is to give it shadow and the shadow preset i'm going to use is under perspective and i'm going to use this one called as below so this looks like the arrow with these three beads is floating in the air you can always add the relevant text so what i'm going to do is i go to the previous one i'm going to copy this one say copy come back to this and press control v and i'm going to make copies in these places and and there we are the diagram is complete so let me add the title 3d timeline in powerpoint so that is how we create this stunning 3d timeline diagram in powerpoint i want to show you some example templates of timeline and road map taken from our powerpoint ceo packs and you can see what kind of variations we can bring in to a timeline or a road map diagram as you can see here we have used a road map or progressive road map to indicate the timeline and we have got this text which explains the events that happened over the years the next example is this one which talks about the journey from start to finish and each of the landmarks is flagged here and you can write the associated text so this is the starting point and then end point and this one is more like a zen garden and this talks about the path we traveled and this is 2008 next year next year next year next year so you can write about how we traveled over the years these are some different ways in which you can portray the concept of timeline or road map in powerpoint if you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create professional graphics you always have the option to go for off the shelf solutions like these powerpoint ceo packs volume 1 and 2 the templates that you saw are taken from the packs the two ceo packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for ceos and busy business presenters like you just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time and all the aspects of all templates are completely editable so you can pick pieces from different templates and create your own template so the options are far more than 1600 here it is a smart way to build professional quality presentations ultra fast hope you liked our tutorial on creating 3d timeline in powerpoint if you want to read articles that improve your presentation skills and powerpoint skills or if you want to watch more tutorial videos like the one that you saw just now you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting